Um, uh, I mean, the point that I tried to make in my comments is that uh, to uh, to uh, place uh, a lot of uh, emphasis on the propaganda point is just silly. Um, all sides in the political process are engaged in forms of propaganda at one point or another. Uh, the sad reality is that in any country, a killing can actually make human rights groups rather happy in the sense that it gives them an occasion to pursue the agenda that they have. That agenda may be a broader political agenda. It may also simply be a human rights agenda. We want to stop the killings. But the reasons for which they're doing it, if they have broader motivations, are irrelevant. If a killing takes place and someone is saying, let's do something about it, it doesn't help to say, ah, it's just propaganda. That's what I call denial. Have you identified, just to follow up, have you identified like a majority of the killings were perpetrated, perpetrated by who? Particular group or have you in any point in time here? One of the biggest problems and my emphasis on the importance of the counterinsurgency problem and on the limiting of political space actually both point to the fact that the problem is very diffuse. In many ways, what's being sent is a general message that it's not going to matter too much if you need to take the extra step of executing someone. So it's much more subtle than that. And uh, while I have no doubt that there may be particular individuals who are particularly culpable, it's not actually the answer to our problem to say, let's prosecute X or Y, because this is a much more deeply rooted, diffuse problem.